All right, class, in this lesson we're going to be taking a look at sets and their language and how we deal with sets and writing lists. Okay, so this is section 2.1. Here we've got sets of numbers commonly used in math, and here we've got our natural numbers. And we've already used this word before, whole number, here in a previous lesson, but here's what the actual list looks like. Natural numbers is one, two, three. It's the ones we started with in kindergarten, and then eventually you add zero. And then after first grade or so, you add your negative numbers in, and that's integers. And then Q is our rational numbers. And so rational numbers is everything between all the integers that can be represented as a fraction. Um, so the problem here is that pi is not a rational number. So pi is 3.14, but it bounces around forever. This is what we call a real number or irrational. So rational numbers are all the decimals that can be represented as like 1.333 that goes on forever. In other words, it's, this is uh, four thirds. So anything that can be represented as a fraction is a rational number. But a number like pi is not represented as a fraction, so uh, we, can't, we can't work with that. It's called irrational, and that's not actually written here. But anyway, the set n is sometimes called the set of counting numbers noted by C. So counting numbers, natural numbers are counting numbers. So you might hear of, uh, pick a counting number, but it's, it's just talking about natural numbers. Okay, so set builder notation. This is how we list sets. Uh, we've got the set C, and what we have is we have, we call, this is our variable. This is saying X, we're, we're, so we're saying, all right, we've got this set, and we're talking about X is how we're defining X, and then this colon here means such that. And then it's naming what X is. X is a carnivorous animal. Or it could say uh, set C, we'll say set uh, something else, let's call it B. Set B is the set of Y such that all Ys are bigger than zero. In other words, this would be all of our um, positive rational numbers. Okay, so this is, this is set builder notation. I will read it over and over as we roll through here, but we're always, we write our variable and then we're, we're saying such that, so we're saying this is what our variable is and then this is how uh, we define the variable on the right hand side. So our job is to do two types of set wor uh, wordage and that's set versus listing, set notation, and set builder notation. So they're both in sets, but one is in listing form and one is in uh, builder notation. So we've got to write these in alternative methods. So here we've got um, our first problem. This is just a list. Okay, this is a list of all the different blood types. So notice they are all listed out. And then down here we're saying, all right, well, let's call it a variable, x. And then we say x such that x is a blood type. Down here in our second problem, we're starting, so by the way, let me, this is our listing and this is our set builder. Okay, and then down here we've got, uh, we're starting with set builder, and then we end up listing them. So Y is the name of the variable such that Y is a color of the American flag, and so if you were told to list out those actual colors, you would say red, white, and blue. That's what the colors of the American flag are. Okay, so this is the difference between listing and set builder notation. We'll be reading back and forth between them. So here it says use set notation to write all the elements out in the set. So here our set A is A, the variable A, such that A, so this is such that A is a counting number, so that's the, the whole numbers, or natural numbers, I'm sorry, not zero, less than 20 and is evenly divisible by three. So we start listing all the numbers that are bigger than zero and whole numbers and that are evenly divisible by three. Well, one doesn't work, two doesn't work, three is our first one that works. Five doesn't work, uh, six does work, sorry, I skipped four. Four doesn't work, five doesn't work, six works, and then we just keep on rolling through. So we got six, nine, 12, 15, 18, and then that's it. Because the next one's 21 and it says less than 20 and evenly divisible by three. So this is the list, and then this is how it would be in set builder notation. This is our uh, listing set 
down here. So this is in listing form. All right. So now we've got a list, and our job is to write it in set builder notation. So uh, it says use set notation to list all the elements of the following set. Um, I think there's supposed to be the word builder right here. Okay, set builder notation. So we've got to call this set something, I guess I should have named it up here, we call this P, it doesn't matter. So P, set P is, we'll call it variable Z. Z, such that Z is the number that's doing what? Well, let's see. We're negative, so we're at negative 32, and how do we get to 26? Well, it looks like we're adding 8. Then how do we go from here to here? Well, it looks like we're adding 6. And then how do we go over to 10? Sorry, I said add 8. I meant add 6 here. Let's go from 32 to 26. You add 6, then add 6 again. My imagination says we need to know that all these other ones in here are probably adding 6 as well. So we would add 6, and the next number would be four, uh, negative 14. Then we would add 6 again and keep on rolling. I apologize. I'm realizing that I'm struggling to come up with a uh, description of this because I didn't read the own directions that I wrote, and I even tried to change them. But so shouldn't have tried to change these directions. It should have been what they were. It says use set notation. In other words, I was supposed to write the list. I apologize. We don't want to use set builder notation. That's not even what the directions ask us to do. So you're going to have a problem exactly like this in your homework, where you're to just list the elements as a set using listing, set notation. Set builder is what I was trying to do. I apologize. So your job is to just write all the elements out, like negative 32, negative 26, negative 20. And again, to notice that you're adding 6 each time, so the next one's going to be negative 14, and then negative 8, and negative 2, and then positive 4. Uh, maybe skipped one there. Yeah, 4. And then finally 10. So this is what you're trying to do in your homework, not do the description that I was trying to do. I apologize. So just listing all the numbers out in set notation. So when it doesn't say set builder, you're just listing the elements of the set. Let's continue. So we've got uh, which sets are well defined. So these are two different sets, and we're just deciding is one of them defined well, is one of them not. So this one says, uh, this is in set builder notation, so it's describing X. So X, such that X is a winner of an Academy Award. Well, that tells you what would be in a set. Well, anything, in, anything that would be in that set would be a person who won an Academy Award. So this is a very well-defined set. The only people in that set would be those who won the Academy Award. Very well-defined. This one says X, such that X is tall. This would be, at first glance, you're like, well, tall things are in the set. Yes, but the word tall is very not well defined. I know we have a good definition, but it's not in our in our head, but relative to what? Tall compared to an ant? If you look at this statue, I would say that statue is tall. This might be a tall man, I don't know, but it, it just depends on compared to who. So this one is not well defined, the first one is. Okay, so here we need to discuss the fact, or discuss this symbol right there. Um, a set that contains no elements is called the empty set. The set is labeled by the symbol, uh, this guy here is a zero with a line through it. Another notation is, the, is this, you put your, so the things that we're listing, so if we were listing one, two, and three, we would say that one, two, and three are in the set, but if you have this, the set brackets, sorry, that was a bad one, but this would mean that I have an empty set. This is equal to that right there, this is called the null set, null set. There is nothing in it. It's empty. Empty set. Now, this is different. You can't say uh, that right there. I can't write my bracket symbols. I apologize. These are not equal because this means you have something inside of it. It's like saying zero, zero is actually a number. If I actually have zero in here, then my set has zero in it. If I put my line through it, I'm saying my set has this number, this symbol, um, 
nothing in it. So no, they do not mean the same thing. Um, these don't mean the same thing either. Um, zero is a number. This is a symbol meaning empty set. So it's the set of an empty set. It's kind of a weird thing. We'll see if we can add a picture of it I thought I had in here. So it's like saying I have a bag. That's right, I was going to draw my bag. So let's say I have my bag. This is an empty bag. Have you ever gone to the grocery store and they say, can I double bag that for you? What do they do? They take your empty bag and they put it inside of another bag. So this is an empty bag inside of an empty bag. So here, this would be a picture of a set with an empty thing inside of it. This is a picture of my empty set. So it's equal to just having this guy. So this is like an empty bag. This is an empty bag inside of an empty bag. So what's inside of this empty bag? An empty bag. I hope you're getting the picture a little bit. All right, so element symbol, this guy. We are going to talk about elements of a whole set now. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, make it a different link.